Today we're going to be working on a beginner's mixed media canvas. Hello everyone, it's Maddie Azart with Spectrum Art Creations and today we're going to be making a super fun and quick canvas that can be done in eight simple steps. For step one, we're going to gather our supplies. The great thing about mixed media is that we get to mix all kinds of elements such as resin and plastic and metal and paper. In step two, we're going to apply our rice paper. Now, I do apologize ahead of time. My camera did not like the white canvas um, it tends to fight white or black surfaces a lot. I try to darken it as much as I could uh, with the camera settings after I shot the video. And hopefully for 2023, I have created in the budget that I'm gonna allocate some funds to maybe getting some of those um, studio lights in here. Uh, and that should hopefully help us to improve uh, those issues. So more on that in the upcoming year. And as you can see, I did try to play and turn on and off the ring light, but that also casted a bunch of shadows. Anywho, that is just, you know, a little bit of what is happening behind the stage, right? But um, I do try to bring up the piece um, every step of the way I bring it up to the camera so that it focuses a little bit better and you can see what is happening. In step three, we are going to prime our elements. With our canvas dry and our elements primed and dried, it is now time for step four, adhering our elements.
Now you will notice that I use a combination of both my gel mat um, or heavy gel mat and my hot glue gun. And the reason for this is one is for longevity and the other one is for instant hold. I don't like to wait too long to be able to play with what I'm working with. So I add the hot glue and that creates an instant bond. So it holds the pieces in place so that I can play immediately. A good tool to have handy while working on mixed media is a craft pick or a stylus pen. That is excellent for cleaning up any extra material that perhaps has oozed out from underneath, especially in those hard to reach places. With our elements all in place, it is now time to move on to step number five. In step number five, we're gonna work on filling those gaps that you see right there.
With our stones in place, it is now time for step six. We're gonna be working with the delicious Prima Liquid Acrylics. These are amazing colors to work with. These amazing colors were released by Thinabar. They are acrylic in fluid form, but they have a viscosity that is medium. It's not super heavy and it's not watery. It's somewhere in between, but it's got great pigmentation. So you use very, very little. And when I say very little, I mean like a drop, like a pea-sized drop. Uh, and you'll see that I it will go a long, long way, especially once you actually spritz it with water because it'll just flow, but retain all that pigmentation and color. Now the way that these differ from your regular acrylics, because you might be thinking, well, why not water down my regular acrylics? Not at all. These are very different. And the fact that you can actually still see what's behind. So say you put it over a rice paper, as I have done, or say that you put it over text, you will still be able to see the text in the background while maintaining the color in the foreground, which is really an amazing feature. Now, they can also be used um, to, to blend. So while they're wet, they will blend. Once they are dry, they are permanent and you can layer them. Now they can mimic watercolors. Uh, they also, of course, mimic your acrylics. And in a way, they also mimic alcohol inks. So they are really fabulous to work with. Um, their pigment, because they're actually, I'm sorry, because they're actually not pigment, I should say, they are acrylics, so they are permanent and they are self-sealant. So after um, using them, you do not need to add any kind of a sealer to make them permanent. These little bottles have a lot of great features in them. And again, this is where I know that they differ greatly from regular acrylics in addition to what we've already talked about. From one bottle, you can actually change the tone and get a spectrum, an array of colors from just one. So say for example, you take the magenta, right? Super bright, highly dense, you know, magenta color. You can take that and add your liquid fluid medium, which is also released with these paint sets. And in, it's a larger bottle than the regular paints, but that allows you to do two things. Number one, it allows you to extend your playtime. Number two, it allows you to change the tone of your colors. You can also mix them with the white, which is also part of this release. And you can take that magenta all the way from that bright, deep, vivid, bright magenta color, all the way to a soft baby pink, for example. So not only are you saving product because you need a pea-sized drop, a, literally a drop of paint uh, to get pretty much all an entire canvas like this one done, but you can also save your space in your studio by not having to have, say, you know, 20 different pinks and 20 different blues to try to achieve a range of color. The other cool thing is you can create custom mixes as well. And they are great um, with the heat tool. So they take the heat to heat right away. They dry super quickly and you can use them for a dry brushing. You can use them for dripping. You can use them also in spray bottles. So you can take your spray bottles and make permanent um, sprays, which would be awesome as well. Now, Thinabar has a full tutorial video on these and you know she shows you all the different things that you can do with that. So I will be linking that down below along with any of the links for the products that you've seen here. If you have any questions, of course, you can always feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my very best to get them answered. But these are really amazing colors to play with. Uh, 
I highly recommend them. I don't ever recommend anything unless I use them. So I wanted to make sure I used them first and even did this really quick uh, demo for you guys. I actually did this demo the morning uh, prior to one of our Saturday sales. So if you've never joined us on our channel, every Saturday we have a live craft and art supply sale. And sometimes we do demos live as well. And so I prepare this right before that live sale to kind of just showcase uh, how easy it is to, to work with these. But I myself wanted to also use them and uh, make sure that I am sharing with you what I know to be fact and true. So I do highly recommend these adorable paints. They are a lot of fun to play with. Now it's time for step seven, adding our highlights. Using our Prima Thinabar waxes, we are going to add highlights to some of our elements in order to not only bring out some of that beauty, but give it some luster, and of course, give it that rusted vintage type of a feel and look. The Stamperia Vintage Patina pastes are going to be our final step, step number eight. These amazing pastes are not waxes and they are fantastic for creating an age process on any project. They are translucent and they are layerable and they allow you to give any project instantly that look of aging that might have happened you know, over 25, 50, 100 years naturally uh, out on the elements. So it is a fantastic final touch, not only for um, within the composition, but also around your edges. And I am mixing three different colors today. I'm going to be using the gray, the rust, and the turquoise, again, to give that final touch around the edges and in our highlighted areas of that distress vintage aged look.
The vintage patinas are also great for adding highlights. So I've used them here to highlight as well to create that patina look. Here is the final completed project. We hope that you guys have enjoyed it. We hope that you have crafted along. Were there any products here that you had questions on that perhaps were new to you? Would love to hear your feedback if there was something that kind of struck your fancy or um, you were interested in finding out more about that pro um, product specifically as well. But thank you so much for joining us today in the art studio. We are so thank glad you. that you are here. Please do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to hit that thumbs up button and like the video as well as share us out in your uh, crafty groups or with friends and fellow artists. You guys have a blessed and creative day. Bye. Bye.